at 9 p.m. now. Like I promised you last week, we continue to put the spotlight on the economy and continue with our conversations on India Revival Mission. Viewers, after six weeks of lockdown, we've now entered lockdown 3.0 with a lot more relaxation and relief coming in for the industry to at least restart some amount of economic activity in the orange zones, in the, in the green zones, and also in the red zones. The government has given the space for some business to restart. Of course, it's just day one. There are lots of hiccups and challenges. Uh, and it will be some time before we actually see the business and economic activity pick up. But what should be the way forward? And let's focus on some of the sectors that have been badly hit and need, are in need of dire help of the government at this point of time if we are hoping for some kind of revival. So tonight, I'm going to put the spotlight on real estate as well as the hospitality industry and I've got a power pack panel joining us right now. Mr. Baba Nirani, MD and CEO of the Rustamji Group is with us this evening. Ratan K. Swani, Deputy Managing Director of Lemon Tree Hotels. And I've also got Dr. Hiranandan, uh, Niranjan Hiranandani, National President for Naredco. And of course, Senior VP for Asocham. Mr. Hiranandani, let's begin with you. We've had a few conversations, uh, you know, in the earlier avatar of lockdown where absolutely nothing was allowed. But things have changed now. What's your own sense? Where do we go from here on in the coming weeks? I think, first of all, we have to congratulate the government that the lockdown was really, really good. And uh, it has served its purpose. Now, the question of Jahan was taken care of, but now Jahan is required. I think the economic ideas must come back. And the onerous thought process of only looking after lives and locking down the entire economy is a dangerous thing which is happening. So we have suggested very, very strongly the opening up, uh, including real estate in a much bigger sort of way. A partial opening up has taken place wherein the people, the workers in C2 are required, uh, can be brought down to work subject to uh, some of the local conditions which have uh, uh, actually not permitted this to happen in some of the states. But by and large, uh, we are happy that the work is started. However, we do feel it's a little too slow. The opening up needs to be a little faster. We know that it could have a deleterious effect. But I think the economic consequences, and you see this worker migration which is taking place, uh, it's uh, really something which is, uh, can be done at uh, maybe 20% of the level it is today. I think uh, if we open up the economy faster, this problem of migrant laborers going back in the manner in which they are, Hungry, hungry, hungry. I think that would stop. Uh, we want to put them back to work. There is a good possibility to do both in the case of industry and construction. And we strongly recommend that it should be done at a faster pace than it is being done. Number two, we need to see that uh, the economic stimulus must come on faster. The Niti Aayog has recommended 10 lakh crores uh, on the basis of 5% of GDP. We at ASOCHAM have recommended, uh, at, uh, as uh, President ASOCHAM, I have recommended 14 lakh crores. Of course, there is a heightest difference, but the government has only done 70,000 crores. So I think there's a huge difference between what is being suggested and what is being done, which is extremely uh, wrong because uh, it means that the stimulus required for industry to come back, employment to take place, and the poor people to be fed is just not happening. So I think, or it's not happening enough. I would not say hmm. it's not happening. That would be unfair to the government because they are doing a lot, but they're not doing. But I must compliment, the health side is definitely a positive story and India yeah, can okay. be proud of it. But too much lockdown is dangerous. But I actually want to pick up on one point that you made, and I was going to ask about that specifically, Dr. Hiran Nandani. The fact about the um, exodus of migrants that we are witnessing right now being facilitated by the state and the central government. Uh, is there a view that the government needs to move quicker on reopening some of the big cities? For example, the uh, Delhi chief minister has already said we are ready to emerge from the lockdown. Let's do so now. Because once these people have gone back to their home states, then even if we want to restart the economic activity, it's going to be difficult. Where are you going to get the hands? Where will you get the daily wage worker or the laborer? You've hit the nail on the head. 
This is exactly what is needed to be done, and it has to be done pronto. Fortunately, Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai has started all the infrastructure projects, which is the roads, the Cross Harbour Bridge, the coastal road, the metro, and other works are already started. However, the private sector, they are a little slow, and I think it should be done very quickly. Similarly, I think all the states need to open up the factories as well as partial opening of IT uh, offices. A lot of people internationally are not ha happy of the fact that IT is not being restored in our country. And I think that requires, of course, with safe distancing and all the other things to be done. Uh, I've been talking to two of the IT majors, and they are a little worried that India is being over locked down at this point of time. And of course, they will take care of say, uh, distancing, uh, physical uh, distancing, and all the other things that are required to be done. But it needs to be done very quickly. So we are of the opinion that uh, the wonderful thing on the health front, but on the economic front, uh, we didn't think that so much migration would have taken place if the opening up was faster. The, these workers would have been better taken care of on our sites, better taken care of on our factories. I think a combination of these two needs to be done it. And I think uh, what the Delhi chief minister has said is correct. The opening up needs to be done quickly now.